Algebra 1, 12.1a. Okay, we're in a new chapter now. We're going to talk about relations and functions. I'm going to show you how to identify functions. So the formal definition of a function is it's a relation that assigns to each member of its domain exactly one member of its range. Huh, but what does that mean? Okay, so let's break this down. The domain of a relation is the set of first coordinates, the input. The range is a second set of coordinates, the output. The relation is a set of ordered pairs. So now you can look at this and you know what I'm talking about. This is the domain, that's the range. So basically a function is an ordered pair that assigns to each of its first coordinates exactly one member of its second coordinates. So take a look at this function table right here. Now we also have a mapping diagram, but let's look at this function table. So for the values of x and y, the domain and the range, 3x equals y, whatever the values for, that, makes, uh, that stands for x will make y true. So if x is a 0, then y is a 0, because 3 times 0 is 0. And if x is a 1, then y is a 3. And if x is a 2, then y is a 6. We can write it in a function table like this. This side's the domain, that's the range, that's the input, that's the output. We'll get into that a little bit more. You can also do a mapping diagram with two ovals. And you put the domain or input on one side and the range or output on the other side and you draw arrows to which ones they match, okay? So take a look at this up here. We've got Domain inputs here as names and range outputs here as ages. So if Emma is 8 years old, Tala is 10 years old, Bob is 12 years old, and Dave is 12 years old. So that's a function because two people can be the same age. Many people can be the same age. Now look on this side. Here's our domain and our inputs, our range, which is our outputs. We have our names and our ages. So Emma is 8 but then Emma is 10. That's only one person. And Tal is 10, and Bob is 12, and Dave is 14. Emma cannot be two different ages, so that's not a function. She can only be one age, okay? So for the three x equals y, these were the values that made that true. And the values for x and y make a set of ordered pairs, a relation. But we need to be careful because all functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. That means all functions are ordered pairs, but not all ordered pairs are functions. It's like saying all children have an age, but not all ages are children. See? Just because it's one doesn't mean it's another. All dogs are animals, but not all animals are dogs. See? So it could be true going one way, but not the reverse way. Okay? So take a look at the relation of six for x and 2 for y. That does not make this true. That is not a function for 3x equals y. And we can make a graphed line from plotting the coordinates. And, sorry, this is supposed to be 6 and 2. We could plot the coordinates of all of our other values, the 0, 0, the 1 and the 3, the 2 and the 6, See, 0, 0, 1, 3, 2, 6. And when we plot them, we can draw a straight line. See? And the 0, 0 is the origin. But when we try to plot the 6 and the 2, 6 for x and 2 for y is way over here. See? It's not on the line at all. So that's not a function. See that? It's not on the line. Its relation to these is not a function. See that? It's got nothing to do with him. He's way out in, in the side, isn't he? So we can find the domain and range of each relation, and we can see if it's, the relation is a function. So we're given that C is a set of ordered pairs of 4, 0, 6, 0, and 2, 0. So we need to find the domain and range of each one of these and to find out if it's a function. So we know the domain is the input. So that's going to be the x, the 4, the 6, and the 2. 
and the range, the output, is the y-coordinate. That's zero on each one of them, isn't it? So we've got two, four, and six as our domain if we put them in order, because these are not in order, and the range is a zero. And each one goes towards the zero. Well, that's allowed, because each input has one arrow going towards the output. See? It's when the input has two arrows coming out of it that we have a problem, okay? So in this one, each domain is assigned to one element of the range, so that's okay. You can have these all going to the same range, the same output. You just can't have an input having two arrows going to two different places in the range, okay? Like what's going to happen with this one. So in this set D, we've got the set of ordered pairs of 1 and 5, 3 and 7, and 1 and 7. And we put them in a little function table. We can see that the 1 is going to the 5 and the 7. Well, it can't do that. So this is not a function because the input 1 has two arrows heading towards that output. The domain 1 is assigned to more than one element of the range. Our set of domain is 1, 3, and our range is 5, 7. And because there's only two numbers in this set, and two numbers in this set, but we have three inside of here, that right there tells you something's wrong. See? So, remember that for x coordinates, that's the input or the domain, and for the y coordinates, it's an output or range. So, just because it says X or Y doesn't mean that that's necessarily the domain or range, though. It could be A or B, right? It could be C or D. It could be P and Q. So our next video is going to be 12.1B, and we're going to talk about function notation. That's when you see that script F, and then you see like a X like this. That's the function of X. And we're going to talk about that next. Now, this is also pretty cool. In my grade 8 math playlist, I have got an entire chapter 6, starting with 6.1a, that talks all about functions, and it gets really into detail, okay? So, you might want to check that out, and that's going to be in the description of this video. You can just click on it, and you'll be able to watch all those function videos, okay? help you catch up and figure out what's going on so you can get a good grade for this chapter, all right? I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next video. Bye.